Welcome to the May Embroidery Tutorial for the Stitchery. This month's embroidery includes a lot of bullion knots. They're not scary, you just need to relax, make sure you wrap your needle around the right thread and just take your time. The only other stitches you need to master are the closed fly stitch and the French knot. The February tutorial shows you how to do the bullion knot in detail, but here I'm doing the petals for the roses. So I've got my two bullion knots in the centre, where I've wrapped six times, and now I'm doing the next layer of petals. So I'm wrapping round nine times this time. And then you can see, I just go straight across the top of those two knots in the middle. Don't try and curve it yet, just straighten your knots out. And then look, you just knock it onto its side so that it fits, it'll curve around. See, I've just curved it round. It just rests on top of the fabric. So those knots will sit wherever you tell them to. Just hold them in place to curve round. Don't pull too tightly when you finish doing the petal and go through to the next one. So you just tidy up the wraps on the needle Pull the needle out of the fabric and just, just give them a little pinch to make sure they're nice and neat. So when you're doing your knots, just have a little play with how much you can curve them round. I'm just going to show you here how much you can curve it by pushing it out, so you see? And curve it out and curve it in again just by putting the thread there. When you've got it in position, just fasten it down with a stitch at the end. So I've finished that layer, just push them into position with my needle and fasten off at the back. So we're taking it a little bit faster here just so that I can finish off the rows and show you how to do the petals. So the last layer of petals is with the lightest shade of thread, so it'll be white in your kits. You can see here again how I'm curving the knots around the edge of the rows and putting into place. I'm coming up just inside that petal and we're doing five petals around the edge of this rose. I decided to stitch this rose in pink so that it would show more clearly on the video but in your kits you're obviously using the white and the creamy colours. So as you can see it's darker in the centre, the next layer of petals is your mid shade and the outer layer is the very lightest.
Don't seek perfection when you're stitching these roses, as long as you've got the petals overlapping each other and in the right form, it will look beautiful when you've finished. You can go on then with your green to do the bottom edge of the rose in green just with a couple of billion knots, just in this way. You can see here that I'm just sorting out the threads, how they've emerged from the fabric. It's really important that you wrap your needle around the thread that emerges from point A rather than point B, otherwise you really will get yourself in a proper knot. <laughs> And this is just a reminder of closed fly stitch. We've done fly stitch in previous tutorials, so you might want to look back at January. But just to remind you that for closed fly stitch, you just make sure that all of the V's are tucked up into each other and stacked neatly so that it fills in the whole of the leaf. And then we're going to have a little reminder of the French knots. The best tip to remember with French knots is that when you bring the needle up through the fabric and you wrap the thread around the needle, hold the thread really firmly in your opposite hand. Don't let go, don't let it sag or hang loosely, just keep holding it firmly and your knots will be perfect every time. Thank you for watching and happy stitching!